how to meet the needs of your man or woman what's our topic tonight how to meet the, the needs of your man or woman it's or the woman. same thing spouse yeah, not yes, true yes. spouse yeah, but some people don't understand spouse spouse too nice so man or woman now ladies and gentlemen marriage is undergoing profound changes did you hear me yes sir and i want you to note here that although marriage is going through profound changes god still holds marriage in high regard thank that's you that's right somebody should say amen thank you amen. now paul who taught it wise not to get married gives special counsel that helps to cement the marriage now paul is not a married man but he gives counsel because he was a man of god now hear what paul has to say somebody get me my stick please Hear what Paul has to say. Let's read, please, Elder. What he says. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence. Yes, sir. And likewise also the wife unto the husband. Beautiful. Now, if you don't understand due benevolence, let's hear what it says from another translation. This translation says, the New Life Bible. Read it, please. Let the husband render to the wife the affection due her. And so notice what this Bible says. This Bible says that the husband must give to the wife the affection that she needs. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That's right. So notice, in this marriage thing, the Bible brings the woman first. And the man comes after. Let's hear what this translation says. The clear word Bible says, read it please, what it says here. Those who are married should not feel that it is wrong to have sexual relations. Sweet it up now, evangelist. And let me tell you something. Marriage is a whole lot of sex. Yes. If you don't plan to have that, don't get married. Are you hearing me? Amen. <laughs> and I understand from an article I read that the more you have it, the younger you look. Come on, talk to me here. That's, That's why you look so young, Cal. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey. I tell you to laugh and stop. <laughs> Let's hear what another translation says. Right. That's the message Bible. What it says here? Marriage is a decision yes, sir. to serve the other, whether in bed or not. Whether in bed or not. not. Mercy. And so when you are married, everywhere is on the fire. <laughs> All right, the floor in the bedroom. Am I speaking the truth? Big set. Let's hear what this translation says. It says, uh, 1 Corinthians 7, 13. What is it? That's the contemporary English version. What it says here? Husbands and wives should be fair with each other about having sex. Did you hear that? Should be fair. If you're not enjoying it, tell him. Don't come tell the pastor. We're telling me for. Yes, sir. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to her. Talk to her. Right. Say, girl, I'm not enjoying it. You're not swaying enough. Talk to him, boy. You are coming too fast. You need to take your time. Oh. Take your time. Okay, laugh and stop. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is clear as you look at this verse using the different translations that the following pertains. Put it here, please. The husband has needs to be met. Put the second one. And the wife has needs also. Also. But watch the punchline. Put it here, please. The punchline says that the needs of men and the needs of women are different. Follow me here tonight. If the needs of men and women are different, it is important that we become aware of each other's needs and learn. Don't miss this verb. And what? Learn. Learn to meet them. Yes, learn. Now, I do some counseling. I'm not a counselor, but I counsel. And I have learned, in fact, in my counseling session, in my counseling sessions, I usually use this formula. 
I have learned that man has five basic needs in marriage. How many? Five. Five basic needs. You may perceive yours differently, but man's most basic needs in marriage are these. The first one is what he calls what? Sexual fulfillment. Man wants to know that he's sexually fulfilled. And not just sex, but fulfillment. So a man doesn't want any woman like if she's on some cross. Yeah. All right. All right. The second thing that a man needs is what we call recreational what? Companionship. Yes, man. The man loves to know that the lady is there with him. When he goes to play cricket, she's there. So watch it. He's batting, you know. He's batting, but the lady's in the pavilion and he wants to show her that he has stroke and a fella comes with a bouncer to hit him in his head and he pow! Hook. Yes. And the lady in the pavilion says, hey, that's my man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes. Even when he get bold. <laughs> All right. And when she comes to that event, she must look good. That's right. Not no old hairstyle. With some big, big plaits in her hair dropped down behind there. And some old piece of dress. No, you must look good. Are you listening to me here? Dress up yourself. The next thing a man loves is an attractive spouse. Not just attractive when you go out, but attractive at home. Yes. Don't oh, stay home in no big old dress. When the man comes home, have something nice, man. Make sure you expose the volcano. <laughs> I say volcano. <laughs> Victoria Secrets, man. Yes. Smell good, look good. Are you listening to me here? I'm telling you the needs of us. The fourth thing that a man loves is domestic support. The woman must be able to cook. She must be able to iron. Don't put two seams in the man's pants. Iron the man's pants with one seam. All right. All right. Yes, sir. A double seam. There are some women, they can't even boil water. You come home to eat and the food salt, 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 salt. The chicken white, 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 white. The dumpling soft. Are you listening to me? Yes. Delicious. And don't tell him go in the pot and take what he wants. You put it on the table, man. Because what you tell the miner, when the, when the man goes to the concubine, that's what the concubine is doing. She sets the table, put the food on the table. In addition to that, as he's eating, she gives him a massage. Uh. Oh yes. yes. I have to learn to keep him. The final need for a man Ad is admiration. Ad is what? Admiration. <laughs> Important. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, although these categories may not equally apply to everyone, you will agree that these needs are the deepest when it comes to marriage. And I'm talking to the men. They are the what? Deepest. deepest. The deepest. Now, let us look at the five most basic needs now for the woman. Because I told you that men and women are different. The first one is what? Affection. So while the man is looking for sexual fulfillment, the woman wants what? Affection. Affection. Yes, sir. What is affection? I'll tell you just now. Tell us. I'll tell you. So let's hold on that one. The second one is what? Conversation. Conversation. Women like to talk. talk. True word. True word. And I have learned to love my wife by listening. When I come out to do crusades, I don't care how much it costs. I buy in the phone car. That's right. Talk, girl. You talk because I don't want she to talk to no other man. You listening? Hey, hey. You tell me what you have to say. Sometimes she say, you're there, you're sleeping. No, 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 girl, you go ahead and listen. 
so you can love your wife by listening and as men we got to learn to listen the next thing a woman love is what I call honesty and openness the woman listen a woman will satisfy a man if she can trust him if you say you're going Montego Bay don't go to Spanish town If you say you're going to play dominoes by my not, don't go by car. Exactly where you are going, tell the woman where you are going. going. That's right. Honesty. If a woman is after you and you know it, let the woman know. Yes. She loves you to be open. And the final one for the woman, put it here, is what? Family commitment. Yes, man. She loves to know that her husband is, is looking after the children, taking them out for a walk sometimes, taking them to the beach, helping to put them to sleep. Am I speaking the truth? Yes. Right. right. Because the needs of men and women are different, I can safely declare, ladies and gentlemen, that for, put it on the screen, please, for a spouse to render due benevolence the spouse must be prepared come on what is that verb the spouse must be prepared come on talk to me the spouse must be prepared to meet needs that he or she may not appreciate you think i want to listen to rhonda sometimes i lay down in the bed the girl talking 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 before she come and come and you 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 yours huh? All right. I'm man ready to go, ready to back, ready to hit ball down the boundary. She talking, talking, talking. <laughs> Woo. But because I know she loves to talk, I take my time. Because the man wants sexual fulfillment. And every time you rush it and you don't give the woman affection, you don't get it like you want it. You understand? That's right. All the people here are troubling me. I will stop, you know. <laughs> now, it will take more than one sermon to expound on all ten basic needs. Therefore, tonight we are going to look at two of them. How many? Two. Two. And what I believe is most important. I believe if these two are worked out, marriages will be strong marriages will be healthy are you hearing me yes and the two are put it on the screen the first one is what we call what affection affection and the second one down here is sexual fulfillment, fulfillment. help me jesus yes lord help him and you know why i say help me a lot of families are in trouble you know over the same thing and let me tell you something, Jamaicans. As the family goes, so is the church. Oh Lord. So is the society. Have mercy. So is the school. Mm -hmm. If you want to have a good society, you must have a good family. All right. That's true. And there are a lot of unsatisfied wives. There are a lot of... Un are you listening to me? And although sex... In fact, let me say yada. Now, yada is the Hebrew word for sexual intercourse. What is it? yada because we have children so say what yada. yada and although yada is just a minor part of marriage it is very important are you listening to me all right beautiful okay let's talk about affection then affection is the cement of a relationship why well, i'm teaching you tonight and every night i teach you what you hear in here you want to hear it again affection is the cement of the relationship hear me affection is not yada that's the problem that the men have. The men think because a woman come and rub you and hug you that she wants you to know. All she wants is affection. Mm -hmm. That's true. So affection is not yada. It is the expression of love for a woman. You see, ladies and gentlemen, the typical man sees showing affection as part of sexual foreplay. And scientifically, his arousal mechanism is like fast food. <laughs> Quick fire. As soon as he sees, he's ready. 
That's why the devil have all these foolishness, all these half-naked girls in newspapers, all these half-naked girls on television. Are you listening to me? Trying to turn the head of, of the men in the church. But men, you got to learn to be strong. Yes. yes. Amen. Yes, sir. And that's why, ladies, you must dress properly when you come to church. I see some of you come to church, you don't even have on a coat. The erosion mechanism of the man is like fast food. But for a woman, the affection she gives and receives is not intended to be sexual. Therefore, if a husband is to meet his, wife, his wife's needs or render due benevolence, he must learn to be affectionate. He must learn to be what? Affectionate. Why? Because when it comes to yada and affection, you can't have one without the other. That's true. 